Welcome to B&H Videos. Hello, this is JP from B&H. Today, we'll be talking about geotagging with GPS devices. Geotagging technology determines the precise location of where a specific photo is captured. In general, a GPS receiver gathers latitude, longitude, and altitude coordinates, which are then embedded into the photo's metadata. After photos are uploaded to popular websites like Flickr or desktop applications like iPhoto, a visual map is compiled of your photographic travels. Geotagging is ideal for the everyday photographer or traveler with a large photo library for quick access to events, locations, or online photo sharing. For professional applications such as surveying, geotagging is a useful tool for gathering coordinates. With a few exceptions, GPS devices come in two basic varieties, tethered and untethered. A tethered GPS device connects directly to the camera via cable. Conversely, an untethered GPS device gathers raw GPS data, which is later synced to the photo with software. Most importantly, make sure that the GPS device you choose is compatible with your camera. Let's take a look at some geotagging devices available at B&H, starting with some tethered options. Packaged in a waterproof casing, the Geometer GPS receiver uses specialized GPS chipsets to capture data from 20 parallel satellite channels for fast data acquisition and a built-in modulator for improved accuracy and performance. The Nikon GP1, designed specifically to work with Nikon cameras, offers a simple no-frill solution to geotagging. A solid green LED light indicates when a GPS coordinate is locked and blinks red when GPS is out of range. With three operation modes, Custom Ideas GeoPic 2 enables you to fully customize GPS data gathering. You can actively search for GPS signals, freeze and lock GPS location coordinates, and conserve your camera's battery with a low power mode. Now, let's take a look at some untethered geotagging devices. ATP Electronics GPS Photo Finder Mini syncs GPS data without a PC. Simply carry the photo finder with you, pop the device and your memory card into its docking station, and the GPS data will automatically sync to the photos on your memory card. It accepts SD, MMC, memory stick, and CF cards. The Gistec Photo Tracker Lite's sleek and light design is ideal for travelers. One AA battery powers this device for over 24 hours. Multiple format export and multi-language support round out this adventurous GPS package. The Jobo Photo GPS Data Logger's claim to fame is its exhaustive GPS data gathering, city, street, country, and closest point of interest. Its form factor is specifically designed to mount on your camera's hot shoe. The iFi Pro comes in a handy, easy to use SD card format. Pop it into an SD card slot and convert just about any camera into a geotagging device. The iFi derives location data from Wi-Fi hotspots, so it's ideal for cities like New York with dense Wi-Fi coverage and won't necessarily work in remote locations. Wi-Fi is also built directly into the card for wireless photo transfer from your camera to computer without the cables. The Holix M241 sports a small LCD display to monitor critical GPS data. Internal memory is capable of recording up to an impressive 130,000 GPS positions, while 32 parallel satellite searching channels ensure fast, accurate data acquisition. The M241 can interface with USB or wireless Bluetooth. Bundle the Holix M241 with Red Hand Systems Bluetooth and Bluetooth adapter for top-notch GPS data gathering without the hassle of cables. Any of these geotagging devices are a great way to visually map your travels. Geotagging is no longer just for the technologically elite. User-friendly and accessible, GPS devices for cameras and desktop applications brings geotagging to the everyday user right out of the box. And for the specialist, advanced GPS devices enable extensive data gathering tools for specific applications. For more information about geotagging, please visit us online, give us a call, or stop by our New York City Superstore. This is JP from B&H, and thanks for watching.